Hello loves, welcome to the channel again and welcome to a bit of a different video today. I'm going to be recreating my own house in The Sims 4. Now I have done this before but there's more, way more tools in the game now that is going to allow me to try and recreate it as best as I possibly can. I'm going to be using lots of custom content today as well to get the look that I need for this house or my house. And yeah, we're going to keep it all in one part as well. So it's going to be heavily edited. I might go off camera and do floor plans, blah, 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 wallpapers, all of that business, just so I can keep it in a nice compact form. But yeah, I thought this would be fun today for you guys to kind of take a delve into my choices of interior design in real life and also what I'm planning on doing with the rest of the house because it's still not finished. But I'm going to pop stuff in on how I would want it if it was complete and finished. But yeah, I think what we'll do is flop on over into game and we'll get started. Okay, you bunch of bitches. Here we are. Um, oh, what was I building there? No idea. No idea. <laughs> no idea what I started there. But um, yes, we're in Winderberg. Now, I would have preferred if we could have built this in Brychester because I do live in a city. I live in the city of Plymouth, if anyone was wondering. But Brychester didn't have a lot big enough. They didn't have a lot big enough for the house. I mean, like lengthwise, because my house is quite long, so it wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit onto it. But what I've decided to do is build it here. Now, I do live in a Victorian terrace, so there is like usually a house either side as me, of me as well. And if you see me looking over to the side, it's because I'm copying a floor floor plan that I did pre-make earlier. <laughs> so that, my loves, is what we're going to do. Let's get this floor plan down first. So where are we going to start? Let me get the porch area in first. Um, I'm going to start there. I'm going to start there and I might move it. Porch and then it goes across and then I've got the bay window in the living area here which goes across to there and then it's got like a little in curve there, a fireplace moment there, another fire... Uh, in cove there and then it comes down to there is that right oh no wait there there did i do that yep and then it's got a wall like that and then it goes around to that so that's my like living area what i've also got here is what used to be the dining room but we've knocked through the wall here so the di so the living room's a lot bigger i mean dining rooms are just not necessary nowadays i don't think personally hallway i can't remember where we start the stairs here now the scaling is not perfect because sims but i've tried to make it and it's working i recognize it very 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 much so i'm quite pleased with that with the floor plan i very much am i very much very pleased with it down here now, underneath the stairs, we've got lots of storage, but we've also got like storage here as well, which comes to about there. There's a toilet here. Stunning. I'm going to box that in like that, just so it gets recognized as a room. And then that those are cupboards underneath. Like we've got two cupboards here as well for storage. And then into the kitchen. So the kitchen, so the fridge goes in there. Then I've got another chimney breast here, which is um, unusable now. There's no fireplace in there and then this comes all the way down here to about there and then on the end i've got where like the boiler is stored outside like the boiler you go in through the like little hatch here and we store our bikes in this bit um, and i used to have a bomb shelter that was like there like an anderson shelter and we hated it. it blocked in all the light and so we had that knocked down but yeah that's about the kind of floor plan from downstairs i might tweak it a little bit in a minute just in case we'll go upstairs and do i'm gonna put platforms in this lot as well so up into the next level this is where my bedroom is so we've got a bay window also in the bedroom let's just get that wall on it's a lot easier we've got a, our bedroom is big it is a big big bedroom but I love it. I love my bedroom. Love having a big room to sleep in. It's very nice. I do feel very fortunate. I do. And then this is the landing where Timothy is nowhere to be seen here, darlings. And what that does is come along to there. And then I'm going to box that in as well. Okay. And now this is where it gets weird. This level now, this rises up. I'm going to rise up too because I do have stairs here as well. We've got a really lovely Victorian banister around that part. Can I put some stairs in now maybe hopefully i can oh i can look stunning usually this kind of wraps around like there like if it was a half tile moment because you can see right downstairs and it's got this gorgeous curved staircase that goes all around it the sims 4 won't be able to do that because the sims 4 staircases ladies and gentlemen and non-binary friends are shit 
the end. Right, now this is the spare bedroom. This is the room that we haven't decorated properly yet. It's kind of really unfinished. Now, this is where the bathroom is. I'm going to go back like that with the bathroom, I think. We've got this hallway here. And then this is my office, the room in which I'm in now. And it's not a big room. It's like the box room. And then we've got kind of a roof line here that kind of slopes down from this level. But this is also raised up as well. But it's only raised up one. There's no stairs. It's just a step up to all of this. So I'm just going to raise it up one. And I'm also completely forgetting that I do need to change the wall height up here to a medium. Because they have got tall walls in this house. That's basically the shape of the house. What I'm going to do is get a roof line on it. We've got this little moment out the front here like this. And then there's a roof line that goes all the way across to there. And then it goes across to here. So it is like a really long house. Like terraced Victorian houses are very long. Um, Again, they needed the space back then. Going backwards rather than white width wise was the best way to do it. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to pick all the wallpapers, all the flooring and all the windows and doors for the house. So give me two seconds. That took a little bit longer than expected, but what I've done is put all the windows, all the wallpapers, all the doors, all the flooring and everything down. And this is what my house kind of looks like from the outside. Um, the windows are a little bit different, but these were the best kind of sized ones that I could find. We'll go inside now and I'll show you around what the floor plan looks like. So you kind of come in to a little porch area. You kind of step up into my passageway. Uh, this goes all the way back into the kitchen area. There's a door here that goes into the living room and the diner. So as I was saying, this is kind of the living area. We have got a dining table here and these colours are so similar and the same out here as well. I've got kind of a dadle rail that goes like that and then up the stairs in that direction. I'd love some CC like that. I've never been able to find any. Little toilet here and then into the kitchen area. This is where a fireplace would have been in the kitchen that is... No fireplace there. So we've just got this big kind of outset wall kitchen out into the back garden. So this is our kind of a little courtyard garden that we've got. Still very unfinished. And then upstairs, this is what happens with the upstairs. So the stairs kind of come around and wraps around and goes up another platform level here. This is the spare bedroom. And this is the master bedroom or our bedroom. Now, this colour wasn't right. What I wanted like a really nice grey and I think the light's just making it too warm in here. And then it goes back into the passageway. There's my little bathroom there. And then we've got my office in this area here. So lovely. I think we've got the bearings of everything anyway. I think what we'll do is start with the living area, love. So I found the perfect sofa. And here she is. It's the Gwendolyn sofa from Peacemaker. It's very similar to the one that we've got. And then we've got a nice table here. Just a very plain kind of wooden table. Now, I'm not going to go matching woods with this lot because I don't have matching woods in my house. All my woods are kind of mixed up quite nicely. That does match in quite well, but we're just going to oversee that. And in this corner over here, we've got like a little... I couldn't find anything perfect to kind of match in with it. So I think I'm going to use the tiny Twavela case. And we've got like a little storage unit in this bit. I would love like a bay window seat in this part. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get around to doing that. Now over in this corner is where we put the TV. And we've kind of got this like weird kind of corner unit. And I couldn't really find one, but it's in this kind of style wood. And then the TV kind of goes, it kind of goes there. So it's a bit of a weird spot, but in real life because of scaling, it works fine. We can see the TV and that's all that matters, isn't it, darlings? So I love finding like weird like bits of wood. <laughs> I've got like a twisted willow branch. I've got, I had one in here as well. So we've got kind of that in the corner. It may look weird, but I do love it. I do. I do love it. We've got a nice picture up here. I've got a painting of blue as well, but obviously we haven't got that. So I'm just going to put some nice stuff up. Give me a sec. And it's in these kind of like colored frames, the pictures. This one's a little bit smaller, so I might just size it down because this is the painting of blue. He's above there. Bless him. And on here, we've actually got a print of Plymouth. But again, I don't have that. So I'm just going to make it up. It is a pop of red. It's a little bit bigger than that as well, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Now in this boat over here, we've got an armchair. It's this kind of shape that we've got. And then I've got a little table moment. The bottom of this is supposedly a, it's a, it's a copper colour, but I haven't got that. I know he's got a similar table that I could have downloaded for it, but we're just going to go for this one instead, darlings. And I've got a really cool lamp that I love. And it's quite similar to this one that I'm going to show you now. It's quite similar to this one. And it is indeed a pop of yellow. So I'm going to use that one there. And it just looks really nice. I like popping different colours against things. We'll put a rug down in a minute. We've not chosen the perfect rug yet. We've got one down as a base kind of filler. 
and we haven't put any shelves up here yet, which is what we really want to do. So I'm going to stick some shelves up and put a nice rug down. There we go. Now this fireplace, we have got a black fireplace and it has got lots of ornate detail, but it doesn't really stick out this far. It kind of goes inward. Same with these. If I could place these on like a half tile, I would because they would they go back a lot further. But that is the generically what my living room looks like. And I'm kind of for it. I like that rug as well. This rug's by Peacemaker, by the way. I'm going to just link every pack that I used as well down below. If you do want to go and download it, I'm not going to itemize everything. I'm just going to link all the packs because I would be here for two weeks if I had to itemize everything. <laughs> now into the dining room. So I've used this dining table from Peace. No, from where are you from? This is from this is one of Harry's. Sorry, sorry, Harry. Um, Harry's Halcyon dining table is quite similar to ours. We've got one that kind of extends out, and we can use two more chairs on it. Now these chairs are quite similar to the ones that I've got as well. They've got a wicker kind of like seating bit there, and um, they're quite classic and sort of farmhousey, and I love them. Absolutely love them. Now we've got a nice cabinet in here. I did have a perfect one, so I've gone for the tiny travelers dresser. It's it's very similar to the one that we've got. I'm just wondering if I can make it. It's a little bit like of a darker grey, but I haven't got the perfect tone here for it. That's probably a bit better, actually. Same with this over here. I've got like a little ottoman that kind of matches in with it. Well, not ottoman. It's like a hall table, but it kind of fits in here. And what I do under here is put all my firewood, put all my firewoody bits under there. And then on top of here, I've got more books. Same as what I've put in the living area. So I'm just going to put a big burrow of books along here. I'm a bit of a fiend when it comes to books, loves. I really am. I've got lots of books in storage as well. So, yes. And then what I've done is put a picture up here. We've got a nice lamp in here as well, but it's a bit more of like a tripod one with like a spotlight on. Couldn't really find one in CC, but that's kind of what it looks like. And this mirror is a bit more of a, this, it's not three mirrors. This is three mirrors, but it's this kind of like all natey, like sort of like style. And it's quite a big mirror that we've got kind of there um, just behind just behind the dining table. And I think this is what the living room kind of looks like. It does feel like I'm in my house, actually. It's quite weird. And down here, we've got like this air vent. They don't look like that. It's a bit more ornate. But because this was a chimney breast, they still it still needs to air out the house and stuff. So we've got like an air vent there. But yes, diet, the living area is done. Let's crack on down with the kitchen, shall we? Into the kitchen, we're going to use Harry's um, Halcyon kitchen. It's not like my sides don't curve around and stuff. It has got like a slate looking top and it hasn't got these lines. I would have loved this kitchen like this, but it is a very similar color. It's kind of a, like a pale gray with a dark gray kind of slate top. So we're just going to use this. And I found this counter stove top because we've got an induction hob on here and I'm hoping that that works. If not, it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to get my house looking like it, aren't we, loves? And chair-wise, I have got four stools along here. So what I'm going to do is just place four along there. So they won't be usable, but I want them to look like they do in my house. That is better. Now, this is like a bit further back and it is a, you can still walk through this bit, but it is a little bit squashed. They were like, oh, don't know if you're going to be able to get an island in here. I was like, I want one. So we got one in. We did. Now, this is where it's going to get a bit complicated. I'm going to try and find cabinetry because what we've got here is like one of those high cabinets. And my oven is at that height, if you know what I mean. So the hob's on that side and the oven's kind of on face height. So I'm just going to try and make something. So this is what I ended up doing. I uh, used the um, kitchen cabinets in the deep ones just so we can get that kind of like vibe here. And here I've got like a slidey out door. That's got shelves inside, if you get what I mean. But I had to mix it with the Halcyon kitchen counter. They are slightly different colours, but I'm going to overlook it, love. I really am. Right. And then it kind of goes around this way. And then weirdly, it kind of links that way and then comes back in this way. And then these bits here is where the tumble dryer is hidden. The wash machine's here, like hidden away as well. So you can't really tell that there is like a tumble dryer or washing machine there. They're kind of hidden behind it, and I prefer it like that. I really do. So what we're going to do up here is I've got like a long cupboard along here as well. So I'm going to do that. And it kind of goes to around there. And then the kitchen sink is here. And I've got like a dark grey kitchen sink. That is as best as I can do. Um, It's a bit brighter, but that's where the sink is. And it's like a grey sort of like plain looking sink. And I love it. Right, we've got um shelves up here as well. So let me get some shelves up here too. So those ones from base game are just going to have to do. 
Uh, they do stick out a little bit there, but we're not going to let that come between us, are we? Hmm? No, no is the answer to that. Now, I have got roly blinds in here, but I don't think we're going to get any that will fit in. Oh, oh I'm going to put them up a bit high, though, because I don't really... Yeah, that's better. And the same with these windows as well. I've got the same blinds above these windows over here. This is where the fridge goes. And then we've got a bin here and it's like a silver kind of touchless bin, if you know what I mean. Where you just put your hand up to it and it opens. And then here is where Mr. Blue has his food. So we've got a little bit of food going on down there for Blue. Little cheeky plant in the corner here. There we go. Lovely. And then there's this, this extractor fan that is quite similar to this one as well. And that one kind of goes there. So it's very plain white kitchen, but I like my kitchen being plain. So that is the basic kind of layout of what our kitchen looks like. I think I'm just going to go and add some finishing touches now. Added a few finishing touches. Um, I've, com I've completely derped out. There's just like a small little lip here. And this is where the dishwasher goes. But I couldn't like recreate that. So I just had to leave it like that. But it still looks nice. Um, I'm not a person who likes a lot of stuff on my kitchen counters. I like it to look... Very minimal. The only thing we've got is like a big like butcher's block and a few other bits here and there. And yes, it's very nice. I think just to finish off, a little rug here to wipe your feet on when you get in. Now, things that you I'd love to be able to add into The Sims are like light switches and plug sockets. We've got a plug socket down here. There's plug sockets like here as well. And here, two plug sockets there. I'd love those little details to be in The Sims. Uh, I should have looked for some for the custom content, but yeah, that is basically my kitchen. This is what my kitchen looks like. Ta-da! Let's move on to another room. Into my bedroom. So first up, I've got blinds on my windows in the bedroom and they're kind of very minimal. Now these windows are usually a bit higher, but I, it will change the complete look of the house from the outside if I move them up higher, I think. So you just got to imagine because of the platform I had to put on here, it's kind of met the window up there. I've got this kind of like about that much gap like between it. But shush, this is The Sims. It's just not real life. So yeah, I've got these very plain, again, grey blinds in my bedroom. I don't like having too much curtains. You know how I feel about curtains in The Sims, my loves. So I've done something with the lighting just to try and make it look better. But it just doesn't seem to be making it look better. So this is really similar to our bed, actually. We've got this kind of like fabriced, um, modern Chesterfield headboard at the back of our bed. This is from Peacemaker, by the way, this bed. On top, my loves, you're going to absolutely love this. Look, pop of yellow. We have. I've got some yellow bedding and it looks smashing against the grey. It really does. Really does. Now we've got a fireplace here. It is an open fireplace, but it doesn't work. This fireplace this doesn't work. So yeah, that's, that's what I've done there. That's what I've done with this one. And bedside tables, they're more like this. They're quite a warmer wood though. I, as I said, I love hitting grey with warmer woods. I really love it. And that's what this bedroom is full of, my sweethearts. So we still got to finish this bedroom. This was the first room we started. <laughs> and still stuff needs to be done. Wardrobe wise, I'm going to use the going to use the country collection one. Just nice classic wardrobes either side. One for each, you know, stunning. So wardrobes are in little lounge chair in the bay window. And then on this side, I'm on the hunt. And this is why this space is completely bare still at the minute. But I'm on the hunt for a 1950s sideboard in real life. Oh, my loves, I tell you, I am desperate to find one. And I can't find one in my price range anywhere. So if anybody knows where I can get one from, let me know. If anybody's got anyone that they would like to give me. Even better. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Do not send me any free stuff or offer me any free stuff. Completion. Completion of what I would... I want one of these. I want one of these. I like I like this design, but I would prefer it to be plain and maybe a different colour wood. Maybe just a little bit different. But I've decorated the place up a bit. Put in some bedside tables. Um, bedside lamp, sorry. Another picture. And this, like, light, I couldn't find my perfect light. I've got, like, a silver ball in my room that's kind of, like, got all these, like, intricate details on them. It's really, really pretty. So that was the only kind of round ball one that I didn't hate. Um, and this is the spare room. So the spare room doesn't look like this. This is what I would love the spare room to look like. But Tom is adamant that he wants carpet in this bedroom. 
So again, compromise, my love. We're going to have to. But if it was my world, this is exactly what I would do. This really rich, foresty green color. Just very pretty, you know? This is exactly what I would do with it. Moving down. So this is the hallway that kind of goes through the back part of the house past my um, bathroom and into my office. Some of you might have seen this in my office tour video. So we're going to try and make it look as similar as we can. I can't really find the perfect unit that I've got here. I've got a really nice unit here and it's a black like metal one, but we haven't really got anything like that in game. Let me see if I can find something that's not custom content. I don't think we will, but let me see. No, I couldn't find anything. Couldn't find anything. And weirdly, there's another weird bit of layout here that I'm going to try and put in now. This would have been another fireplace. <laughs> it's like, how many fireplaces did this house would need? Well, back in the day, a lot. Oh God, why has that gone weird there? Stop it. But yeah, there's like a little step up here. And this is like a, this again, this doesn't come out as far, but we can't do anything about that. And this like little, I've got like an industrial little side cabinet that I only got from Ikea really. What I want to do with it is have a cushion for the top of it so we can have like just somewhere to sit like when you come out of the bath or something, you know? Just something like that. Something like that coming out here. And then this is obviously my bathroom. So we're going to do that as well now. So the bath. Thankfully, Harry and Felix made a very similar bath to the one I've got. So I'm going to use it. The sink is very generic looking. It's more like that kind of thing. But I don't think this is going to be able to fit in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. Oh, no, I can't because the window's there. I think I need to move these windows up just slightly and use this sink here. So we've got this little sink moment. It's got storage underneath of it as well. And then the toilet is on this side. I'm going to use this one here. That's a very similar toilet to the one I've got. And that kind of toilet goes there. I don't think they're going to be able to use the bath now, but never mind. I'm just trying to make it look like it. We've got like a towel, like heater, like a radiator with like a hangy thing on it. But there's nothing really that's matching him with it apart from this. So I'm going to use that one. And it is in a white and then shower wise, we have got a very similar shower to this. So I'm going to be putting this in and it sits behind like a glass pane. Now, this is a bit too thick for me. I wish that was a little bit thinner. I still think it matches in quite nicely. Quite nicely indeed. And all my shampoos and conditioners go all of like here. My body wash or the two in one shampoo and conditioner that Tom bought. No, it wasn't. It was a two in one shampoo and shower gel. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And on this wall here, I've got a few little cute pictures. They are quite bright, the pictures I've got on here. I wanted to brighten up the living. I mean, the bedroom. The bathroom area. So I'm going to pull a few of these out. I do like a picture, I really do. <laughs> like that kind of vibe going there. I'm going to move you a bit closer now, love. Oh, stunning. I downloaded these tiles from a creator called Nibs NZ. And in the thumbnail that they were showing, they had my exact tile. I've got this like cubism tile and I can't find it anywhere. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I've looked and I couldn't find it. So I had to put this one here down instead. But yeah, that is basically my bathroom. We'll move on to the office, the finale of the office. Here we go into the office area. So it's you're, you're seeing it now. You're seeing it as it is. It's still not complete. It's still not finished. I'm not going to do too much to this. I'm just going to place stuff down and see what it looks like. Main reasons being, I really want to do like a my dream office build. And I don't want that to kind of spoil this. So I'm just going to put in what I've kind of got. Can we get this in a white? Not really, but that's going to have to do. And I've got like a standing desk um, moment, which I love. So thank you to FlexiSpot for sending it to me because I do love it. I really do. This isn't a ad or anything. They just gifted it to me. My computer chair. Can we get this one in a white? Because it's more like this one. Yeah, that one there. Stunning. We don't have a gaming PC as such. So I'm just going to put that placeholder down there. Gorgeous. Here I've got like a little filing cabinet. It's like this. Got that one there. And that's actually where I sit my PC on top of. I've got my PC on top of there. I haven't got anything here yet because I haven't decorated. I haven't finished decorating this room. Not at all. But we're going to get in a few little lights and stuff, I think. 
There we go. A couple of lights. It's probably cutting in and all sorts underneath, but we're just ignoring that. We're just doing this room as a rough one because, as I said, I do really want to do like a my dream office build. We'll try and get all the scaling right. And I'm very much looking forward to that. Really am. Now, I've got plain shelves at the back here. These are it's quite similar, I suppose, but not. So we're just going to put that in as a placeholder as well. Um, I haven't got a rug on the floor at the minute because I haven't found my perfect one. So what I might do actually is just put Tuppence up in the corner because she is here. And there's Tuppence or Tuppy. Tuppy, whatever you would like to call her. <laughs> We've got Tuppy up in the corner there. So this isn't ex obviously exactly how it is. I'm just going to size that down. We're going to leave that bare because, as I said, I really want to do an office tour and also a garden like design as well. I want to do a perfect garden design. So this is basically what our garden looks like at the minute. It's very empty. There's nothing in it. There's a few plants here, but it is. It's just very empty at the minute because we just we haven't got around to doing it, loves. I haven't got around to doing it. So let's go for a little walk through. Let's go for a little walk through my house. Here's the outside. As I said, it would look. Um, I do really like it. I do really like it if it definitely feels like my house. Now, the door doesn't open this way. It actually opens the other way. But if I turn that door around, it loses all its detail, which is annoying. Um, so you come into the little porch. I've got a stained glass door in the porch. It's really lovely. It's original stained glass door. Um, and that was the best one that I could kind of find that fit it. So this is into my entrance hall, into the hallway. We've got a little photo moma going up the wall there. And um, those pictures up are slightly bit too high. Um, into the living room, into the living area. So we've got a little living moment. I've actually got those color um, pillows as well, which is perfect. But yeah, just very nice. I like minimalist. I said I like kind of live minimally. I think it just makes me, it helps me because I'm such a scatterbrain. So we've got all of these beautiful little objects. Nice dining room, or dining room slash living area. Out into the back garden that way. If you go through these doors, you come down. We've got these storage cupboards here, which is housed a whole lot of crap. A little cheeky toilet in here, very generic. Into my kitchen. So this is the kitchen area. Rather nice. I do enjoy that. Let's go back down the hall. Upstairs. So yeah, this is back into the back of the house. Oh, the front of the house, sorry. Into my bedroom. Now, the bedroom has turned out probably my least favourite <laughs> out of the room. It doesn't look like it at all, but it's because of the colour choices and stuff that I had. It didn't really, but it feels like my bedroom because of the layout and stuff. So I'm here for that. Cool. And then obviously into the spare room of dreams, which is what I would love the spare room to look like. Um, Little moment there. And then obviously into my bathroom, little bath in there. Little shower, lovely jubbly, stunning. We do have blinds up, as I said, but we haven't gotten any nice slatted ones. And then into my office, which we haven't really finished. Um, but this was fun. I really liked creating this. Really, really liked creating this today for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'd be very interested to hear what you think. There we go, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate you so much. This is fun. This has been a fun video to do. Very, very fun video to do. I was thinking about doing this kind of thing with kind of childhood memories. Maybe not my childhood home, but childhood memories of places that I know. And I might do it. I might do something like that in the future. Let me know what you think. And we'll definitely do a dream office Um build or my dream office or even my office how I would want it um when it's finished when it's finished but yeah I'm done thank you so much for coming today I'll see you all tomorrow for a speed build have a lovely day evening goodbye